Just pace. Just pace. You're shutting out all the air, Christine. I can't breathe. There is still some gas. Air! I need air! Just pasting away. Good, Christine. Heat is expensive. I feel like my mouth is being glued shut. Is the child asleep? Yes, at least. All the crying scares away my clients. What can be done? Nothing. We need a larger place. We don't have the money for can it. Can I open the window? This bad air is suffocating. The heat will escape. We'll be cold. Oh, this is horrible. Can we clean something up? Neither you nor I have the strength to do any real cleaning. And Christine has to paste up the holes in the wall. She has to put strips up around the whole house. Every crack, ceiling, wall and floors. Poverty I was prepared for, not dirt. Poverty is always dirty, relatively speaking. This is worse than I could have imagined. We are lucky, by far. There is still food in the pot. What sort of food? We have cabbage. It is cheap and nourishing and good to eat. If you like cabbage. I don't. Why didn't you say? Because I loved you. I wanted to sacrifice my own taste. Then I must sacrifice my taste for cabbage to you. For sacrifices must be mutual. What are we to eat then? Fish? But you hate fish. Oh, fish is too expensive. This is all far worse than I thought. Yes, you see how hard it is. And the child that was to be our strongest link and greatest blessing. It is now our ruin. My dear, I am dying in the air in this room, with its backyard view, the baby's cries, the endless hours of sleeplessness, your clients knocking at the door, their whinings and bickerings and petty views. I'm going to die! Oh, my poor little flower, stuck without light and air. You say that people exist who are still worse off. I am lucky. Particularly so, in this neighbourhood. Everything else would be all right if I only had some beauty in the house. I know you were thinking of flowers. Sunflowers, I know. But they cost as much as six quarts of milk or a peck of potatoes. I could get along without food as long as I had flowers. There is a kind of beauty that costs nothing. But the absence of it in a home is the worst possible punishment to anyone with a love of beauty. What is it? If I say, I know you'll get angry. We have agreed not to get angry. We have. But everything can be overcome, Agnes. Except short words. Have you encountered those yet? I will never think of hearing them between us. I shall never use them. Tell me. Well, when I come into a room, I look first at the curtain. If it hangs like a rag, then I leave soon. Then the chairs. If it is properly aligned, then I stay. Finally, the candles. If they point any old way, then the whole house feels off kilter. That is the kind of beauty, my love, which costs nothing. I don't like your tone, Axel. My tone? It was short. It wasn't. Yes, it was. Holy shit. What kind of language is that? Oh, forgive me. Forgive me, Agnes. But I have suffered as much from your untidiness as you have from the dirt. And I have not dared to set things right myself. Because when I do, you act as if it was a personal slight against you. Hadn't we better quit now? It is difficult to be married. It's more difficult than any other thing. I feel you have to be an angel. That I will agree with. I'm worried. I'm worried I might hate you soon. Oh, how pitiful. But let's not go there yet. I, I promise never to talk of any untidiness again, though it pains me greatly. I'll eat cabbage for you, though it is agony to me. A life of common suffering, then. One's pleasure is another's pain. Humankind is to be pitied. You see that? Oh, yes, but for heaven's sake, let's not run aground. We know the rock so well. Let us try. We are both decent, intelligent people. We are able to forbear and forgive. I don't smile at the little things. We, we, we must. We must, you know. You know, I read this morning in the newspaper... Oh, 
Uh, where, where is it? Which one? Uh, do I keep more than one? Smile now, don't speak sharply. I used the newspaper to make the fire with. Well, I'll be damned. Why are you smiling? I burned it because it was profane to me. And the idea of that is profane to me. Ah. Uh, I am smiling, Agnes. I am smiling so that I can bear all of my teeth. Of course, I am meant to be nice. I am meant to swallow all of my own opinions. I am meant to say yes to everything and cringe and assemble. Oh, God. Now I'm going around fixing everything until you get angry again. Oh, Agnes. <laughs> this is impossible. I know, of course it is. <laughs> but, but, uh, and yet we must endure, not for our sake or our promise's sake, but for our child. You're right, for the sake of our child, we have to endure this. I have business now. How they growl with impatience, thirsty for blood and vengeance. Lost souls! Poor souls! Oh, and all this pasting! Just pasting. Nothing else. God, how that pen scratches! It's as if you are clawing into my soul! Oh, really? No! I'll claw away! Please! I'll... I'm... Am I disturbing you? N no. Not at all. Seeing as you have your degree... Yes, thank you, sir. Life belongs to me now. Every road lies open. I am making my way up Parnassus. The laurel is won. Immortality and fame within my grasp. Well, and what are you going to live on? Live on? Well, you must have a home. Clothes. Food. Oh, that all comes once you've found someone to love you. You don't say so. You... You don't... Paste away, Christine. Paste away until they can't breathe anymore. Just pasting away. Just pasting away. Until they can't breathe anymore. Will you come with me? Oh, at once. But where? To Fair Haven. There it is summer. There is sun. There is youth. Children playing. Flowers. Singing and dancing. and Feasting and frolicking. And I'm already there. Come. I can't escape from the hell. I was in my first hell. Now I'm back in my second one. The greater hell, but also the sweeter one. Oh God. She's been dropping hairpins now. He is very thorough. I will give him that. Thorough? I... Look at this one. There are two prongs, but it is only one pin. It is two and one. Simultaneous. If I bend it open... It is a single piece. If I bend it back... There are two. But they are also still the same one thing. But if I break it, then they become two. All that he has seen. But before breaking, the prongs must separate. If they point together, then it holds. And if they are parallel, they will never meet. And it neither breaks nor holds. The bobby pin is the most perfectly designed thing in the universe. A straight line, which is two parallel ones. I... A lock that shuts when it is open. It is like a door. When I walk out and shut the door, I'm opening the way out for you, Agnes. Where are we going? <laughs>